श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री वी आर इन द फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ तेजो बिंदु उपनिषद the third chapter concluded with a suggestion that aham brahmasmi mantro yam drushya papam vinashayet aham brahmasmi mantro yam anya mantram vinashayet this mantra aham brahmasmi it dissolves all other mantras and in this manner the importance of this aham brahmasmi mantra was given in a very great details and to conclude those the teacher said aham brahmasmi mantroyam jnananandam prayachati sapta koti maha mantram janma koti shatapradam sarvam mantran utsrujya etam mantram samabhyaset sadyo moksham avapnoti natra sandeha madvapi This mantra aham brahmasmi is the ultimate mantra. All other mantras are baby mantras in front of this mantra. When we hear this, what happens? As we have been chanting other mantras, there are many rules and regulations associated depending upon what do we want out of that mantra chanting. Sakama upasana. Am I audible to all? Those who cannot hear, move your ears. I can't move my tongue more. That said, it is not audible. Left side. Okay, then come and sit this side. So, when we chant any mantra, and we are told the do's and don'ts, you should do this, you should do that. and so many times you have to chant for example gayatri mantra we are told gayatri mantra has got 24 letters tat savitur varendyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yona prachodayat totally there are 24 letters so one has to do the mantra siddhi for that we are advised we have to chant this mantra 2400000 times then this mantra siddhi happens and after this happens then what will i get sakama mantra sakam upasana so like that we have been doing everything with a view to get something in exchange of mantra i have chanted so many times nothing happened to me so this kind of mantra chanting we have been doing it now when we come to this aham brahmasmi mantra it is not that type of mantra chanting am brahmasmi am brahmasmi am brahmasmi am brahmasmi am brahmasmi when the words do not carry meaning it doesn't have impact on us there was a child and to that child i was teaching and i told that child look here her name was manju now she was be a grandmother very old story so i taught her manju is a bad girl and that bad has gone in her head so strongly that she has started taking the meaning of bad as good so when she did something wrong so her mother will say manju you are a bad bad girl yes swami ji told me i am a bad girl and to remove that wrong understanding it takes a lot of time exactly in the same way whenever we are doing the mantra sadhana it is mechanically going on hari hari ram hari ram 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 hari hari krishna hari krishna krishna hari ram hari ram 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 hari hari krishna krishna as if it is a punishment given but when we are chanting this am brahmasmi mantra mantra means what manana trayate iti mantra see 
that which will help us in getting out of the fears of life. Nobody is miserable because of death. Then we are miserable because of fear of death. So this Aham Brahmasmi Mantra will liberate us from this understanding that I am a limited being. Then I am born. Then I am growing. And one day I will die. See, this kind of wrong notion is removed by understanding the meaning of Aham Brahmasmi. So one is a mechanical thing, it does have impact, no doubt, but not the desired one. It will have a limited impact. Like when we take the medicine, we don't know the pharmacology of the medicine, how it works. But it does work. In the same manner, the mantra will have its impact, but only at a superficial level. Like two persons go to take bath in Ganges, recently, Kumbha Mela. There are two types of people who have visited Kumbh Mela. One type of people are those who have come to see the fun fair and why so many people come over there and they also wanted to take bath and they took the bath also. They will get the benefit of cleaning their body by the Ganges waters. But those who have come there with a Shraddha, with a faith, Taking a deep in Ganges removes all the sins. They do get the meaning of that experience. In exactly the same way, when we are chanting Aham Brahmasmi, if we are clear about what is the meaning of Aham Brahmasmi. So, Aham Brahmasmi, in short, I tell you. Aham Brahmasmi means that which includes everything, rejects nothing, but retains also nothing. That experience is called as Aham Brahmasmi. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya What is the meaning? When you chant this mantra, Narada will come and stand in front of you and then you will ask, let me get one seat in the Yampi. Dhruva did the same thing. He simply asked for a place. So getting the things is not the purpose of understanding this Aham Brahmasmi Mantra. So now find out from this definition, that which is not opposed to anything, that which supports everything, but that which is not influenced by anything and that which retains nothing. Analyze your experience. This is the meaning of chanting Aham Brahmasmi Mantra. It is not And they will chant it so mechanically. And then if they are a Gujarati and Krishna Bhakta, then they will be sending WhatsApp to Bhagavad Krishna. JSK, 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 JSK. Who will say Jai Sri Krishna? It is not mechanical. So, Aham Brahmasmi, what does it mean? It means, be attentive. This definition which I told you, which supports everything, which rejects nothing, which is not influenced by anything and which retains nothing, four principles. Now analyze your experience. I will begin with one simple thing, rest homework. Our eyes, our vision, supports every color and form rejects none, gets influenced by none and retains nothing. So, when you will come to the vision, you have already transcended the colors and forms. 
when you will come to the sense organs, you have already transcended all the objects of the world. When you come to the mind, you have transcended all the sense organs and organs of action. When you come to the intellect, you have transcended all the problems of the mind. When you come to Chetana, the life, you have transcended all the problems of the intellect. When you come to the divine potentiality, you have gone beyond Jada Chetana, inert and sentient. Up to here is our approach. Beyond this, Yamai Vesha Vrudate Tena Labhya. When the Lord wants, then only He will pull us inside. Daivi Hesha Gunamai Mama Maya Durataya Mam Evaye Prapadyante Mayam Etam Tarante. The ultimate is His decision, not ours. So when we thus understand the meaning of Aham Brahmasme, so for all the colors and forms, Brahma is vision. For all the sounds, Brahma is hearing ability. For all the sense organs, Brahma is mind. For the mind, Brahma is intellect. And thus, we come to a point which supports waking, dream, deep sleep and samadhi. Supports all. Gets influenced by none. Rejects nothing. At the same time, retains nothing. This is the meaning of Aham Brahmasmi. Therefore, again I am repeating this thing. Our class is not a hospital. It is not a temple. It is not an entertainment program. It is a gym. See, entertainment program, millions of people will come. Indulgence, you get maximum. Hospitals, all unhealthy people come. Nobody gets an invitation to the hospital. Nobody tells you. You go on your own. Then nobody invites you to your temple. We only go, Krishna, 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 let my neighbor die. Neighbor also goes, Krishna, Krishna, let my neighbor die. Krishna says, both of you die. Forget it. <laughs> See? So our going to temple is fulfilling the desires. But when we go to the gym, first quality requirement, you must be healthy. Then why to go to gym? To maintain the health. In the same manner, those people who want to go to satsanga and they come across like us, they get frustrated. One lady somewhere after my talk was over, she came, Swamiji, you are all right? I said, wow, what happened? Oh, what? No, you are not cutting jokes. I was talking on Brahma Sutra. <laughs> I said, Amma, unless there is a joker in front of me, how can I talk? <laughs> you are not there. Now you have come, now it will start happening. See, friends, therefore, when this is said, Sarva Mantran uh, Upasrujya Etam Mantram Samabhyase All what you have done is okay. Perfectly on right. The purpose of Upasana is kindling the inquiry about the truth. If the Upasana doesn't lead to this inquiry, who am I? What is this world? Who is God? What is spiritual practice? If this starts happening, and it can happen at any age. We have seen small kids, very young age, and they are able to sit quiet and listen attentively. Yeah, to the other extreme, 
there are many elderly people they will be coming also here and their attention is on everything else except the talks the reason is the instrument is not ready to receive the knowledge therefore sarva mantra anubhasrja etam mantram samabhyaset satyo moksham avapnoti natra sandeham anubhavi when this happens you are not liberated then and there liberation is now and here liberation from what liberation is not an object like this book is an object and get me the book you can get the book acha give me liberation kitna chahiye liberation is not an object then freedom from wrong notions we are all carrying the burdens of wrong notions wrong notions about ourselves about god about the world about the spiritual practice see friends this aham brahmasmi experience is like what another example before we come to the satsang hall here we start from our home and there are so many things we have to do this we have to do that and i hope there is no traffic jam and there will not be any problem i reach there on time i should not be very late blah 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 blah, blah. going on and on and on. once you reach here all your questions about reaching here are over we are telling you that is one of the reasons why i do not entertain question answer sessions do we have question about our being and that is what all matters when you come back to yourself you end and the one who was struggling for liberation disappears bhagwan ke khojo mat khoja the truth is revealed up to here we have seen in the third chapter now the fourth chapter begins this is the dialogue between shanmukha kartikeya and or in the south india they call murugan and their his father lord shiva kumaraha parameshwaram papracha jeevan mukta videha mukta yo sthitim anubruhiti sahovacha par shivaha kumaraha that is kartikeya parameshwaram papracha bhagwan he inquiry as Papracha means what? He was very clear in his question. Many times we do not know what do we want. We keep on going round and round and round. See, so Parameshwaram Papracha. What did he ask? Jivan Mukta and Videha Mukta Yohasthiti. We have heard these two words a lot. who is jeevan mukta and who is videha mukta so jeevan mukta means the one who is liberated while alive and the one who continues to be liberated after the body is dropped for him there is no again being reborn in this world so kindly explain me their state what is the meaning of jeevan mukta and that of the videha mukta to this question lord shiva answers now before we go further i'll give you first a kind of a definition and then on the basis of that everything will become very easy just imagine you have entered your own dream what will be your experience you will be seeing the dream world you will be 
seeing the dreamer who is seeing the dream world and you will also experience the experiences of the dreamer in the dream world three things this is called triputi don't we do this the same thing when we wake up when we wake up how do we analyze our dream oh i don't know i went in a big deep forest so the dream world then i went the dreamer and a tiger came and jumped on me and i frightened and got out so how do we experience or remember our dream these three factors dream dreamer and the dream world imagine this way if you can enter your own dream after it was over what will be your experience that is the experience of the jivan mukta go one step further the wise people who live in this world they are of this type they were very much in this world and they have gone through the whole process of purification and they have come to discover their essential nature and thereafter they continue to live in the same world earlier they were living as waker they were living as mother father brother sister husband wife indian non indian rich poor successful unsuccessful they were living like that now when the wise man comes to discover his essential nature he lives in the same world nothing changes but the quality of his experiences start changing earlier what was a great valuable thing for me it becomes uh, peanuts this is in short the meaning of a jivan mukta now here the teacher tells in his words chidatmaham paratmaham nirgunoham paratparah आत्मात्रेण ये स जीवन मुक्त उच्यते ही हु इज लिविंग एज बीइंग आत्मात्रेण देखो दिस वर्ड मात्रा शुड बी बी क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड इट मस्ट गो डीप इन आवर सिस्टम द फाइव ग्रेट एलिमेंट दैट वी टॉक अबाउट द एयर द स्पेस द फायर द वाटर एंड द अर्थ all these elements have got their inherent qualities and those qualities are called as for the space it is called as shabda tanmatra for the air sparsha tanmatra for the water it is for the fire it is roopa tanmatra for the water it is the rasa tanmatra and for the earth it is gandha tanmatra so be very attentive when it is said shabda tan matra there is no specificity associated with the shabda we did not say sa re ga ma we did not say ram krishna govind hari no shabda matra be very attentive when the sound is given a special status words are born and when words come together knowledge happens and we are taken away from the shabda tan matra take another example rasa tan matra you add sugar in that it becomes sweet rasam you add um salt in the same water it becomes the salty water by itself doesn't have any taste according to our scriptures water is not h2o water is that because of which the taste can happen see friends therefore here it is said 
चिदात्मा परात्मा आत्मात्रेण ये आत्मात्रेण ओनली बीइंग नॉट बिकमिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी बिकम मैन एंड वुमन बाय आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द बॉडी वी डोंट स्टॉप देयर वी क्रिएट द टू जी स्कैम द सेकंड जनरेशन देयर आफ्टर मदर फादर ब्रदर सिस्टर हस्बैंड वाइफ इन लॉज आउट लॉज ऑल ऑफ देम आर बोर्न एंड हु इज मिसरेबल दीज नॉन एग्जिस्टिंग एंटिटी आत्मात्रेण जस बीइंग सी फ्रेंड्स देर फोर फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द पर्सन वन कैन गेस वी आर ही स्टैंडिंग दर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस आई गिव एन एग्जाम्पल दीज आर वेरी सिंपल थिंग फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज we are lost only in this relative world we can't go deeper beyond it there are three ways of looking at ourselves one is i as a dreamer second thing i as a waker and third thing i in relation to somebody three i so when i as body identified person man or woman this is the first understanding of i now this i after body identification then all relational existence comes into existence then i become somebody now this somebody goes through life good and bad then one day by mistake he drops into prem puri all these things happen because of mistakes only purposely nobody comes who has time see friends you will never get time you have to find out time there time for everything except for satsang so we go to prem puri and first of all when we go to prem puri then homeopathy then yoga then chappan bhog dakke kha kha ke then you come to tejo bindu upanishad and when you come over here no tabla piti no dance nand ke anand bhayo jai kanaiya lal what is this see so when we come to the satsanga then we start getting such inputs that we are surprised come on i never thought about it really who is miserable it is the mother father brother sister husband wife they are miserable then you get more input over here man is husband becomes man is the reality husband is an illusion when the wife departs nothing happens to husband because when she goes she carries the husband in her purse and the man is liberated see be attentive when we come to the last stage and that is called as now a seeker is born seeker is called technically as paramarthik jeev so enough of this world enough otherwise this will continue incessantly there is no end to it therefore atma matrena yatishthe no topic of this world will be ever able to disturb or influence us therefore who is this one chidatmaham chidatma 
the conscious being. We are conscious of. Now just now I'll show you what is the meaning of Siddhatma, conscious being. We know everything in this world through the agency of sense organs, mind or intellect or memory. Now where do we fall ourselves? Do I know myself through the sense organs? Let me see whether I am there or not. Do I feel myself with the mind? Aha! Naram, naram, mind, naram, naram. Do I conceive myself as a concept which is subject to change? This experience, I won't say experience of, we are all expert in experience of music, experience of pakoda, experience of heat. We are not talking of this experience, atma matrena. This experience where experiencer is not born. This is the meaning of Chidatma Ham. Then Paratma Ham. And this is the ultimate. There is nothing more to go further. You have reached your destination, GPS point. You know how it happened, God knows. Your GPS destination is shown by with a particular sign on your GPS, you must have seen one round in the center there is a red dot and it comes down. That is the Gandham of Vithal Bhagwan in, Pand in Pandarpur. So that is the real destination. Not other places. So many have come. So much of money, wealth, everything. Don't have to go anywhere, hundred years, thousand years before. Just look within. Our parents we know, grandparents we may know, great-grandparents we suspect, great-great-grandparents we don't believe. Same is going to be your and my story. But how much? See, today I issued one small beautiful clip about the TED Talks. And in that, one lady, old enough, she is suffering from lung cancer. And she spoke so beautifully. She said, I don't want to leave any imprints in this world. This is the great cycle going on. Things are assembled, then work is done, they are disassembled, again they are assembled. It's going on and on and on. What is great about birth and death? Who is born, who dies? See friends, has a child who died? Is the teenage born? When our line of thinking goes in this direction, then maybe God's grace is showering on us. Chidatmaham, Paratmaham, Nirgunoham, each and every word, Nirgunoham, attributeless. See, spiritual evolution is not becoming someone extraordinary. Remain ordinary. We are sufficiently carrying the burden of extra on us, right from the weight onwards. Burden of weight, then I am man, I am woman. Stri din and Purusha din. <laughs> Rasma dirga. Whole life goes only in that speciality. 
I'm man, I'm woman, I'm young, I'm old, I'm uh, enough of it. And when we drop all the specialities as in deep sleep, how happy we are. But how do you know we are happy? Happiness is manifested only as snoring. Those who snore, they are happily sleeping. Those who try to snore when you are awake, you cannot because you are miserable. Nirgunoham. Let us not add any special status to ourselves. See, my friends, on small little issues, what a great thing happens. We are not great because somebody says. We are not fools because somebody says. It is better to remain quiet and let the people think that we are fools. Then open the mouth and give them confirmation. It's better. Keep quiet. It's better. Therefore, Tidatmaham, Paratmaham, Parat Paraha, Parat Paraha, subtler than the subtlest. There is nothing beyond me. This Upanishad, uh, one mantra from Katha Upanishad comes. Indri Bhya Para Yartha Arthibhya Paramana Manasastu Para Buddhi Buddheratma Mahan Para Mahataha Param Avyaktam Avyaktat Purusha Para Purushana Param Kinchit Sakashta Sa Paranati. We have reached the destination. There is nothing more to be attained in life. In this manner, Atma Matre Nayat Tishthe. Thus, he who remains as pure, non specific, not extra, but ordinary being in this world. Yashoda Maya scolded Bhagwan Krishna when he was eating the mitti. She got angry. And she said, I think you are a pig in your last life or what? Eating the sorry. Bhagwan was worried. Oh God. She knows that I was the Varaha Avatar. Immediately. See, you call Bhagwan Krishna as pig, he will not get angry. But if somebody calls us, we will not get angry. We get surprised. How people know? <laughs> See, friends. So, yatishne sa jivan mukta uchchate. And therefore, a jivan mukta, the one who is liberated while alive, it is not a posthumous. See, friends, how much for the worldly things we get, you know, Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan. See? My wife's name is Padma. So, what? Pushini hone wala was. Sad and useless. Come to discover yourself. Dehatrayati atiriktoham shuddha chaitanya masmeham brahmaham iti yasyantaha sajivan mukta uchchate. Dehatraya atiriktoham. Friends, the effects determine the cause. In one place, Bhagavan Shankaracharya says about this world karyanumeya karyanumeya means something is established by looking at the effect like there is a child so we don't take child as an event we are the child hey um, whose son you are because he is the effect in the same manner what are the effects of the wise man manifested in him? The first effect is sure. Dehatraya atiriktoham. I am beyond the limitations of the three bodies. First limitation, gross body. This is the first step on the spiritual path. This I have been repeatedly, shamelessly, every talk saying it. 
but I am so happy none catches that. If you catch it, who will come here? You all get liberated. Don't do that. Suffer. All the doctor's prayer, you know, Sarve Bhantu Rogina. Like then our prayers are like Sarve Bhantu Ajnanina. Your market is maintained. The first step, gross body disidentification. So even if you take this as your spiritual practice, then you don't have to go and ask anybody. Start working on it. Suppose I am other than the body. What does it mean? Now work on it. It is not the mechanical thing. Find out. When I say I am other than the book, what does it mean? All the attributes of the book don't belong to me. The book is yellow, I am not yellow. The book can be torn, I cannot be torn. The book is square, I am not square. There is a date of birth of this book. I don't have the same date of birth. Okay, understood. Now, being other than the body means what? First we'll take gross body, then subtle body, then causal body. So what is the meaning of being other than the gross body? So start playing now. This is what is called as playing meditation, meditation. Start playing. What it is like being other than the body? Then we will discover from within. These things I am not telling you from books. You discover within yourself. Other than the body means what? Mm. Ha. Body has got a shape. Other than the body means what? No shape, no form. Okay. What is in our knowledge which doesn't have shape and form? We come to know that a space doesn't have shape or a form. So let us start playing space, space. Be attentive. The moment mind tries to comprehend the space, mind dissolves. Mind cannot sustain without name and form. And who wants to die? Nobody wants to die. Then the mind will start imagining the things. So start playing. What it is like being without any shape or a form. So space. Okay. Now when I am playing space, space, what is the experience of the space? Space supports all the four elements but doesn't get influenced by any one of them. So if I want to get out of the gross body identification, what does it mean? None of the things in this world will ever disturb me. See? Then another, what is the space? Space doesn't have the beginning, the middle, and the end. Is it my experience? Of course. We don't have the experience of birth, no beginning. We don't have the experience of growth. People call us old, but I am not old. And end, we don't have the experience of death. Oh ho, I got it now. It was the body that was born. It is the body that is growing first vertically, then horizontally. It is the body, one day it will die. Thereafter, we start playing. No more as body, 
but we start praying through the body. Like I am talking you, talking to you through the mic. But I don't become a mic. In short, the waking world and the waking possessions will not be the criteria of our spiritual practice. Whether there is poverty or there are riches, it makes no difference. The possessiveness attitude will slowly die away. If you go in your own houses and see, how many things are there which we have not used for last 300 years? Family, we are thinking of uh, changing our flat. We have to take uh, three bedrooms. Okay, why? Now you are only two of you. Children have gone home, out for their work or whatever. Why you require additional bed? No, Swami, there is no place to keep the luggage. The house is for you or for the luggage. Throw the luggage out. Those who have got this habit of accumulating things outside, that habit of accumulation goes inside in the form of memories. External world possessions, internal world memories. <coughs> in this manner, When we are practicing spiritual practice, this is what is meant. Giving so much of donation, <clears throat> going to holy places, taking a dip in the Ganges. This has nothing to do. See, friends. We want a accountant who is honest and who are we? We have collected all the money by dishonest means. Because this world is so real. So first gross body identification will be no more an issue for us. Then the second step comes in life. The second step is thereafter, if I am not the body, then who am I? So after body identification only, so many are born. See? But have I become many? Like the same person is the son, he is the husband, he is the father. Has the same person become three? No. He is only one. And who is suffering? These three. The son suffers, the husband suffers, the father suffers. Where are they? Nowhere. See, my friends, this is what is called a real spiritual life. The blabity is okay for entertainment. Bhagavan Shankaracharya writes, <coughs> Vina Vadana Saundaryam Bhuktai Natu Muktai. It is good for entertainment. And whatever may be the music, bhajan kirtan you are doing, just be sincere to yourself. Keep on listening to the bhajan. After some time you get bored. Now, both of you are going to do it. See, we never get bored of our being. Because it is not a bhoga, it is a yoga. So after we have thus transcended the gross body, then the second question comes, then who am I? Then the scriptures tell us, you are a jiva, you are a soul. And here we make a big mistake. Who makes big, big mistakes? Those who are following dharma, jainism, buddhism, then... Uh, uh, devotion, going to hell and heaven, karma, yoga, sankhya, 
all of them are following this thing. There is one soul per body. And that is such a catch that they are telling, if you go and do such a terrible act, killing hundreds of people, and in that you also die, then you go to the heaven and 28 are waiting for you. To whom are we cheating? See friends, therefore when we are told, I am someone other than the body, then who am I? You are a jiva. Okay, now what is jiva? Oh, the devil is taken possession of him. He is asking a question. What is a soul? You will go to hell. Inquire. What is jiva? Find out. What is a husband? Husband and man. Can we separate man and husband from each other? So how a husband is born out of a man? Man plus the mirror of wife plus the reflection of the man in the mirror of wife. Three things together. These three things together is called as Jiva or the husband. Paramatma expressing through the subtle body as Chidabhasa, these three things put together is called as the subtle body. Therefore, when in deep sleep, subtle body is totally collapsed dissolved temporarily and therefore there is no jiva but there is a jiva na there is life so jiva is taken as individuality jiva na is taken as totality Life-wise, we are all one. Individuality-wise, we are many. But in and through, every one of us, the same phenomena is happening. The same five elements have gone to make the body. The same modifications of the mind, Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madha, Matsarya, the same problems of the Pranamai Kosha, hunger and thirst. Everything is the same. When a rich man takes good food of his choice, he has satiation of his hunger and a dog takes it the left over on the roadside, his hunger is satiated. Satiation of hunger is common because hunger is common. When we thus understand that jiva or the subtle body is the expression of Paramatma in a particular condition. That is the subtle body. Then it is explained in detail. It is made up of eight factors. Five Narendriyas, five Karmendriyas, then Pancha Pranas, then Pancha uh, Vishayas, and then Mana Buddhi, Chitta, Ahankar, all of them, 17 or 19 things are put together. It is called as the subtle body. And the subtle body also manifest and manifest, manifest and manifest. To understand the subtle body, the example could be, best example could be the light in a bulb. Only in electrical energy there is no light. Only in the bulb there is no light. When these two things come together under n number of conditions, then only the light happens. And therefore when that ability of the bulb to express the electrical energy as light dies away, the bulb is fused. Exactly the same way. Absolute reality, Paramatma, expressing through the body as life, till then the body is alive. When this body loses its ability to express life, 
the body falls dead. This subtle body is the one like the software and the gross body is like a hardware. Without the software, hardware cannot work. And without the hardware, where you will give the software? Both are mutually dependent. Then comes the third body, the causal body. <clears throat> now here biggest obstacle comes. When we talk about gross body, we have got some shape in our mind. Subtle body, okay we understand, mind, inside the body. So the shape of the body will be also the shape of the subtle body. When it comes to the causal body, causal body is not like that. Causal body is cause of the two bodies. What is the cause? Cause is not knowing one's essential nature. Or in other words, knowing incomplete. This is better. Knowing incomplete. I am body is not the bondage. Only this body I am, that body I am not samsara begins. Now if you just think cool way, what is the foundation on which we say this body I am and that body I am not. Both the bodies are not created by me. This body which I claim that I am this this is not created by me. Equally, the other body is also not created by me. Either accept all bodies as yours or don't accept this particular body as yours. This is how the samsara begins. This is the cause of this world. Therefore, dehatrayati toham. Now after having got this much introduction, now start working on your own experience. Te hinos minyatha dehe kaumaram yovanam jara tatha dehantara praptihi dhiras tatra namuhiyati Earlier the body was a baby body, then it became a teenager, then it became middle age. So when one one body we have discarded, we did not cry, we didn't feel bad. Oh, childhood is going, now teenage is coming. On the contrary, we are anxiously waiting. So, we have already discarded three bodies. When we discarded three bodies, nothing happened to us. So the old body, this also been discarded, who is going to die? Not knowing this fact is called as the causal body. Therefore, when one transcends the gross body and the subtle body, then one wants to find out who am I. Then we come to know I am the one who is expressing through the body as life. I am the one who is expressing through the life as intellect. I am the one who is expressing through the intellect as mind. I am the one who is expressing as mind through the sense organs and in this manner the whole thing is only my expression. Be attentive. Is it not I am only one? When I am using my mouth, I am a speaker. When I use my legs, I am a walker. Have I become many? In the same manner, there may be many bodies for electricity. It's not that this is a holy bulb before the Lord, but it's an ugly bulb in the toilet. No. Now apply subjectively. When we see the Lord's idol, eyes don't become pure. When we see the filth, the eyes don't become impure. This is the experience of the Jeevan Mukta. Dehatraya atiriktoham shuddha chaitanyam asmeham. Then who am I? <coughs> shuddha chaitanya. 
See, friend, these two things we have to understand. Chaitanya and the mind, they are same, with a little difference. Like man and husband, they are the same, with a little difference. Man is infinite, husband is finite. Unless you are a Rashtrapati, you are husband to only one poor lady. See, similarly, Chaitanya is common. In this Chaitanya, there is no objectivity involved. In mind, objectivity is predominant. When we gather any knowledge through the mind, the steps are, this is a bottle, number one. I know this is a bottle, number two. And I am not the bottle, number three. So that knowledge where a sense of not i is born, that knowledge is called as mind. And that knowledge where the sense of not i is not born, that is called as Shuddha Chaitanya. Now find out, when I know myself, is this three-step process happening? I know myself that I am not myself. So that knowledge in which the objectivity is redundant. See friends, this is what is called as Shuddha Chaitanya Smeham, then Brahmaham Iti Yasyantaha, then ultimately, where does it end within him? See, Aham Brahmasmi. This is the meaning of Aham Brahmasmi. Therefore, the wise people live in this world like ordinary. They don't have to prove anything to anybody. See, will a very powerful sumo go in a kindergarten and try to prove that he is more powerful than all of them. On the contrary, when the kindergarten children will come and say, I'll give you a blow and the child gives a blow and the kindergarten, this uh, sumo, he falls, oh God, how powerful you are. And the child becomes, see, I have today defeated the sumo, what do you think? In the same manner, the wise people never entangled with anybody on any issue. Like one husband and wife went to the doctor and the doctor, the lady told, Doctor Sab, do something. What happened? Whole night he keeps on talking, talking, talking. Doesn't allow me to sleep. I don't know what he keeps on talking at nights when he's sleeping. Doctor said, okay, take this tablet. He gives her the tablet. So doc, she said, look here, I have come for my husband. He has the problem. Whole night he talks. Why are you giving me? No, no, you take this. Why? Then he will be able to talk the daytime. Then he doesn't have to talk at night. See, whole day you don't allow him to talk. So he takes a revenge at night. Wise people know this. These fellows are in sleep and therefore they are talking. Like we don't take the words uttered by a sleeping person very seriously. On the contrary, we don't even give any value to that. Same way, the wise people take this world as a waking dream. And in this waking dream, they have entered. Earlier, they were the part of the dream. Now, they have come out of the dream, experienced the truth that they are, and they, they are not sitting in a gufa in Himalayas. Then again, they jump into the world. Na buddhi vedam janayet, ajnanam karma sanginam, joshet sarva karmani vidvan yukta samacharan. After having discovered their self, then again they come back to 
the same point. Therefore, they are given mukta. They are not afraid. No, no, no. If I go into the world again, I will be get. No, you will not get caught up. See, the beauty of this experience is, this experience has to happen only once in a lifetime. This experience cannot be repeated. Any experience which is repeated falls in the purview of the finite. Waking, dream, deep sleep, these are finite experiences. Our being is infinite experience. And when you reach your being, Then there is no fear because infinite cannot be repeated. And this experience is trans mind experience. This experience doesn't fall in the purview of the mind, intellect, etc. Anything which is gathered through mind, intellect is subject to many conditions. One may forget, one may get confused. Therefore, these are the meanings of Dehat Trayatirektoham Shuddha Chaitanya Masmeham Brahma Haipiti Asyantaha Sajivan Mukta Uchate Ananda Ganaru Posmi Parananda Ganosmeham Yasya Dehadikam Nasti Yasya Brahmeti Nishayaha Paramananda Purnoyaha Sajivan Mukta Uchate. Thereafter, Ananda Ghana Rupasmi. I am a solid mass of bliss. We know happiness of. It is happiness itself. That experience where being is knowing is bliss. It is not knowing something else. Like I know this book. No. Where knowing and being merges. Is it not our experience? I know. I am. I am is being. I know is knowing. So is this experience in a sequence? No. It is a simultaneous experience. Because knowing and being are not two. He who is abiding in this experience, that experience is called as uh, <clears throat> Ananda Gana Rupasmi. Gana means solid. See? Like you know, our Gujaratis, they make Amras. Now what is the meaning of amras? In that, there is no seed. Seedless pulp. In the same manner, ananda ghana rupos me, there is no cause of my happiness. Not happy because of something. We are surprised. Are Gupta ji, kya baat hai? Bade khush nachan aare ho. When somebody is happy, we are surprised. What is wrong with you? See? But his wise man is happy not because of, but in spite of. Ananda Ghana Rupasmi, Parananda Ghanosmeham. And this bliss is Parananda, the ultimate experience. It is not experience of. Again and again I am mentioning. It is not the knowledge of. It is not the experience of. It is not becoming someone great. It is not experiencing God. No. Yasya dehadikam nasti, yasya brahmeti nishchaya, and therefore he who has nothing to do with the bodies, the three bodies, and therefore yasya brahmeti nishchaya, he who has thus to come to firmly get established in this kam brahmasmi, parama ananda purnoyaha, Sajivan Mukrochate. Thus he is Paramananda. He has attained the fulfillment in his life. 
भगवद गीता फिफ्टीन चैप्टर लास्ट वर्स लास्ट वर्ड एक बुद्धवा बुद्धिमान सैद कृतकृत्य भारत वन हेज टू अटेन फुलफिलमेंट इन लाइफ वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू इज फुलफिल अवर डिजायर्स डिजायर्स कैन नेवर बी फुलफिल्ड That is the Club Ninety Nine. You know the Club Ninety Nine. There was a king with his minister. He was walking in the <coughs> royal garden, and the gardener was humming and doing his job cheerfully, happily. So the king asked the minister, "This fellow doesn't take anything." How come he's so happy? I have got everything, but I am not as much happy as he is. He says, "Sir, we will come tomorrow and then see." That night, this minister leaves ninety-nine gold coins in a bag just opposite his doorstep. He was living in a thatch roof. Next morning, when he gets up, he dashes his feet there. Hey, what is that? He lifts his and comes. God has given me. He starts counting them: one, two, three, four, five, ninety-nine. How it can be ninety-nine? It has to be hundred. He counts ninety-nine times, but it is only ninety-nine. He ties it down, makes a hole in the soil, packs it there, and thereafter finishes his things and goes to the work. Only one thought going in his mind: I have to work hard so that it becomes hundred. I got ninety-nine. God's grace I can give you ninety nine, but ultimately you have to do something. Is it not? I have to do something to get one more coin. Then it will be complete. You know. And like that he is lost in that one. And next day again the king and a minister come. He is putting water somewhere. Water is going somewhere. Instead of cutting the grass, is cutting the flower. All hotspot. Then the king say, What happened to you? So, Mr. Sir, he has joined your club. Ninety-nine. <laughs> See, friends, we are all the ninety-nine club members. Never we have ever come to this point. Thus far, not further. We have to draw that line. There is no end to it. The wise man has attained this Paramananda Purno. Once in some college, they asked me some question. One question was this: Suppose you are made the Prime Minister of India, and you are given the authority to make one law. What law will you make? I said, I will make a law. Inheritance of property law should be scrapped. After a person dies, his all property becomes government property. See, two G, three G, four G, parallel G. Everything will stop. And even if they do, never mind. Now, karo karo, and then after go. <laughs> All the CAs will be out of job. <laughs> See, simple solution. Otherwise, they keep on accumulating so much, so much. And the reason why they accumulate so much, they have doubt about their own children, whether they will be able to sustain themselves or not. Therefore, accumulate. And why they have doubt, they know. Usi ke bache bhi ho ko kyu hoge? Hey friends, therefore, a that Buddha, Buddhi man, sad, krita krita shche Bharata. This is what is called as Parama Ananda Purno ya Sajivat Mukta Uchchate. He is liberated while living. Om Purna Madha Purna Vidam Purna At Purna Mudachchate Purna Sya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vasishchate. 
ओम शांति 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 हरि ओ श्री गुरु